Welcome to this webinar. It's a great privilege for me to have you online. Uh, the point of the webinar is to present how Google Cloud and Genesis are partnering to bring AI into the contact center. We will be three speakers today. First, I would say the most important, Sean, who is the automation manager for Aeon, will share with us uh, his, let's say, road to the success thanks to our uh, solutions. Alberto, who is leading the EMEA uh, partnership uh, on Genesis side, and myself uh, working for Google with a focus on contact center AI. The agenda, so after this short introduction, is to present you first the Genesis Google Cloud partnership, why we see common benefit. Then we will spend most of the time on the, the Aeon customer study, which is definitely, let's say, the core of this presentation. And finally, what next? Was what you as a customer can implement today to get AI in your contact center and to get a benefit both, I would say, for customer experience journey as well that for finance, finance point of view. So you probably know Google as a big company. Google Cloud is a, infrastructure as a service a proposition of Google. And we differentiate on many topics, but today we'll focus on one of our main differentiator is the AI. And we will focus on the contact center AI, how we invest in conversation to improve the customer journey as well as to support uh, the agent. We are very strong in AI. We have very good feedback. Nevertheless, we don't cover a full contact center solution. And that's the reason why the partnership with Genesis is key. Genesis has a very strong footprint in Europe and a very long journey experience in managing efficiently contact center. Alberto, over to you. Yeah, and uh, before I start to focus on uh, on the contact center AI specific, I want to touch a little bit more broader uh, what we think clearly is is the Genesis uh, and Google partnership and why it's important. So clearly, uh, as a Genesis, we claim ourselves as a as a company which is leading the customer experience, and but we claim also ourselves as a cloud company. So all our solutions are moving more and more into cloud into the cloud either public or private cloud. So one of the most important part of our partnership that we see is clearly the capability to run every Genesis solution on top of Google uh, on Google Cloud Platform. So, and one of the capability that clearly we have started to integrate it with is Conta Center AI. And uh, where we really see the, um, uh, we really see the two solution uh, bringing uh, a huge failure because while we see the Genesis uh, is clearly uh, leading in the omni-channel, in the full omni-channel orchestration and in the management of the journey of a customer, we have additional capability that we can bring like uh, AI-based routing, what we call predictive routing, or uh, as clearly as well, uh, when an automation solution, when a solution which provides automation is not able to solve the problem for the customer, we can escalate it uh, clearly to the right agent. And that's one important thing because it's data. All the data that is collected uh, through the journey of a customer is going to, even uh, in the automation part, which is either a chatbot or a voicebot, can be used to define who is the right agent that we want to target. And we can present all the context to the agent. So we can even get agents which are better prepared when they are going to uh, answer to the customer inquiry. Uh, but as well, clearly, our focus uh, is to be outcome driven. So all our uh, all our focus uh, is not really to provide technology, but is to provide use cases. So prospective use cases that are going to allow customer, like Sean is going to clearly touch later on, allow the customer to deliver um, use cases that are going to drive clearly a, a customer benefit for the customer itself, but also for the company which is providing it. Uh, so when we when we look uh, uh, at it, and I think it's it's one of the elements that probably Sean is going to touch later on is uh, is the easy of implementation. So uh, all the work that the two companies, so Genesis and Google, did together uh, 
uh, are really uh, on having a solution uh, that can be deployed very easily by every customer. And so you have different responsibility. First of all, no matter if a customer is coming from voice on digital, uh, the agent can be a blended agent, agent which is doing voice and digital together, or can be clearly agent which is going to do voice and digital only if, if you have a dedicated agent. But the solution, the end-to-end -end solution is bringing capability. So on the Google Cloud, uh, we leverage clearly uh, contest, the, the full contact center AI suite. So we leverage the capability of speech-to-text and test-to-speech, which I consider right now best in class uh, from, from what our customers are telling us. Uh, we clearly leverage dialogue flow for the virtual agent piece, no matter if we are talking about dialogue flow essential or dialogue flow CX. But as well, uh, we do not want to empower only the customer to solve himself the capabilities uh, or what the problem that they are trying to solve. But as well, we want to augment the agent experience. That's where agent assist capability uh, can be integrated in, uh, in the platform as well. And as I said on the Genesis side, our real goal is to clearly focus on what Genesis do pretty well, which is orchestrating the journey, um, building the dialogue management for the, for the entire flow. Clearly, the dialogue management for automation is usually stay on Dialogflow CX and the graphical capability that Dialogflow CX has. We can uh, clearly orchestrate our uh, um, what we call fulfilling microbots micro if a customer has it already. But as, as I said, as more important clearly is our capability to escalate to an agent, keeping the context of the interaction. Uh, but moreover, what is also important is that this solution can integrate uh, to any of a, um, of a business system that the customer has. So we can integrate with CRM system, with marketing system, and the fulfillment can be done clearly on both platforms. It really depends where, uh, um, uh, where it makes sense uh, and, and where really the customer uh, is deciding to do it uh, uh, because of any constraint, uh, which could be uh, security, assess, uh, accessibility, and, and so on. Um, I, I think this is really in a nutshell, uh, the, um, uh, this is really in a nutshell uh, the, the power of a partnership. So not only uh, the, the aim to deliver the best customer experience uh, empowered by AI and by clearly Google Content Center AI, but as well uh, to empower clearly a more, a, a bigger journey or a transformation to cloud, which is clearly aiming to have full Genesis capability running on GCP as well. Let's now move uh, to the customer story because I've, I think every one of us is really willing to, to listen to uh, a real customer, uh, uh, a real customer story and to see the experience that they have and uh, um, it's, it's funny because when we were talking about it, we will say, we want to say the good, but the bad as well. So we want really to provide a kind of uh, um, update for every customer that is looking to enter into this journey, uh, what, what, what they have learned, uh, what, they, what worked well, but as well what they have to pay attention on. Uh, and I'm really, um, uh, I, I really like uh, to introduce uh, Shona, um, uh, with us, uh, as I would like to really see what Eon uh, uh, deliver and what was the experience that Eon has with uh, with us. Uh, so, Sean, as as most of the people that are going to listen or are going to see this session uh, uh, may does not know who is Eon, uh, I would like if you can uh, uh, first of all introduce yourself, uh, what you are doing, but as well to touch a bit. Uh, what the company is doing uh, and what type of business you, you support and you deliver. Um, of course, thank you, Alberto. So uh, my name is Sean Madison uh, and I work in the uh, UK command center for Eon Energy UK. Um, and we'll just talk now about um, what Eon UK does. So we're the, we're the number one uh, supplier of renewable electricity and gas um, to the UK. Um, so we supply domestic energy uh, to customers at their homes, but we also provide smart home solutions, uh, heating solutions, renewable energy, uh, things like solar panels and EV solutions, and also uh, energy infrastructure services for uh, other suppliers in the UK. Um, so as I said, uh, we service residential customers, small businesses, um, large commercial entities, uh, communities, and uh, other energy suppliers. Um, 
and, and where this this sort of thing that we're talking about here today really comes in is in our contact channels. So our customers get in touch with us through virtually every method possible. They call us, they email us, they reach out on social media, they chat on our website, they even post us letters sometimes and, and customers. So we've got the full mix of customer contact channels uh, here at Eon. So uh, the next bit that we probably wanted to talk about um, was the journey. So we break this up into three uh, three stages effectively. So before 2018, um, before we implemented Genesis, our contact center platform, um, and then we had the post-Genesis implementation over the past couple of years. And from the very start of 2021 this year, uh, we implemented um, Google Cloud uh, contact center AI solutions uh, into our call centers. So a little bit about sort of the pre-Genesis days and the problems that we had. We had a sort of a very legacy IVR system with very few self-services available, low success rates uh, in the existing applications. We had traditional automated speech recognition and DTMF button presses for menus uh, and not very much ability to improve um, the applications that existed. Uh, and zero automation in any of our non-voice channels as well. And a lot of customer contact coming in where there was opportunity. So we implemented the Genesis Contact Center platform um, in 20, uh, just 2018 to 2020. Um, and then we were able to build more uh, traditional IVR applications. And this is, um, then we started to reach the limit of that. So we identified 30, 40, maybe 50 customer journeys that we could automate. So as a utility company, our, a lot of our customers just want to transact with us. Um, but we were limited by traditional menu approach, a poor automated speech recognition. We, we may have sort of 40 things we want to automate, but we had no way to offer those to the customers who needed them. And um, we still had no automation in our digital channels. And as an organization, we still had a lot of problems with customers not getting to the right agent first time for their query. <clears throat> so that meant sometimes the customer didn't get a first call resolution um, and they may have to be transferred to another agent or another service. So at the end of 2020, uh, we investigated how we can solve some of these problems. Um, we knew that we needed sort of some, some AI based solutions specifically. Natural language was a number one driver for us. So at the start of the year, we implemented uh, natural language understanding, Google, spe Google speech services, um, and all of that fairly quickly, fairly easily, we delivered it uh, for January this year. And up to now, sort of in the previous 10 months, we now have 37 full self-service solutions in all of our contact channels. So a customer who calls, who chats, who sends us a text message, or even messages on social media, can use all of these 37 uh, self-service solutions. Um, so we design these once and deploy them in all of our channels all at the same time. Um, another big change was switching from automated speech recognition, old school ASR, to uh, Google speech services. That on its own gave us a huge boost in performance in our existing legacy IVR applications. It, it boosted it quite a bit um, above where it was before without us really doing much <laughs> actual development. We just switched over to the new technology and it gave us an immediate uh, value for money there. Um, and that we've now, I think on 99% of our customer interactions, we offer full and natural language based routing, identification of what the customer needs. That allows us to offer more self-service and reduces transfers between departments, getting our customers to the right agent first time. Um, and all of that has been enabled by uh, myself and a, a team of people in my area of analysts and developers and customer experience experts to work on improving the applications daily, improving the natural language model daily, delivering new applications and identifying opportunities. And we're in that daily rhythm now of delivering extra value every day for our customers. Okay, so uh, as, as I was saying, uh, uh, the what I like when we when we clearly talk about this customer story is uh, is also try to to give uh, to to the audience to everyone that is going to listen as uh, the good and the bad. So uh, the story is always nice. Uh, uh, can you help us maybe uh, also with some number or with statistics clearly uh, around uh, what has been your experience? Uh, what probably you will redo if you have to take a decision, and what you have learned uh, that you would like to advise. Uh, uh, everyone to uh, to consider carefully when we're going to enter into a journey like that. Yeah. 
Um, so we'll start with our approach. So we did, uh, we went quite fast with the delivery of this technology. So we didn't do a huge amount of analysis up front and try and do a lot of the development um, before we delivered anything. What we wanted to do was uh, get our customers involved in this process. So the way that we delivered natural language AI is we started for a couple of weeks, just, just ad adding it to our telephone lines and our chat for 5% of customers for two hours a day and turn it on and off every day. And on this chart, you'll be able to see we ramped up quite quickly. So we do that, our analysts will spend a day looking at the raw data, categorizing the calls, pulling out opportunities. And we do that, we did that on all of our main phone lines and chat channels over a very short period of time. So we went from having zero contact center AI for our customers in week one, and by week 10, it was deployed on perhaps 99% of our inbound contact channels. Um, this approach can sometimes by business stakeholders uh, be, feel a bit risky, but because we're in full control with the tools that we've got, if anything didn't work, we could very easily turn it off quickly and uh, make sure we fix the problem. And that's why we started out very small. Once we were sure the technical process is working fine from that point, it was training, it was classification, it was implementing new routing outcomes. And we did that fairly fast. And what a, a key thing is if you move fast enough, customers go from sort of one type of normal to today to a new type of normal <laughs> tomorrow. If you, if you give it too long, you give them a lot of time not to not get used to the change. So starting very small and scaling up very quickly to get raw, real customer interactions was really important for us to, to, to identify what we needed to do rather than thinking about it far too much in advance. That would be my advice on that piece. Okay, good. And uh, I think you touched already the, the speech recognition success rate uh, uh, as a drastic boost when, when you move from ASR to, uh, uh, to speech recognition, uh, I would say test to sp um, speech to text. C can you touch a bit more? So how you are using uh, uh, it today? Yep. So um, we didn't have much uh, capability to improve the old ASR system. Uh, it was a similar one that we've used for, for over 10 years. Um, and it was just under 70% successful in, in, in getting a positive match on an account number or a date or things like that. So what we did is, um, again, similar to previous approaches, we switched um, a few of our applications over to Google Speech Services, mon monitored that, and immediately we, we saw um, dropouts due to recognition failure decline. And it's almost 95% successful in our traditional applications now in terms of understanding the digits or the dates or the numbers that the customer wanted to give us. Um, so that app worked really well. And while we were doing the natural language rollout, this gave us some, some, some benefits straight away. So we could continue with our business case and continue the funding and, and, and also justify wanting to roll this out further saying, look, you know, we get this free benefit just by switching our speech recognition system over to this new, more advanced one. And also um, with, the, with the text to speech as well, that really helped for prototyping. Again, our old text-to-speech system sounded like a robot, <laughs> whereas uh, the Google Speech Services uh, it sounded much like our, our voice artists that we use. So we were able to rapidly prototype applications. That's amazing. And uh, I'm showing a couple of stats that you, you provide to us around uh, the, the interaction, because I think you were, you were saying also uh, pointing the right agent and clearly reducing the internal transfer. Uh, I mean. I think the stats talk itself, but but I think it's good uh, if you can if you can touch a bit on it. Yeah. So um, on the left, you've got so the red bar on the left uh, is self-service attempts. So this means a customer who tr contacted us and then made a meaningful attempt to self-service their transaction. So it could be to make a payment, it could be to select a new product, or it could be to uh, resolve a problem with their bill. So you'll see in, in the early days, just over 10% of customers were able to choose self-service in the first place. And then if you go uh, to after we delivered uh, natural language uh, routing and demand identification, close to 40% of customers now get in touch and uh, meaningfully attempt to self-service because we understand what they want and we can match them to a bot or a solution that we've built for that. Um, and then the other bars are for, for um, so the dark blue bar is voice fully handled. So what we define as fully handled is customer 
attempted to self-service, entered an application, succeeded, and then terminated the interaction themselves. So they didn't go into a queue. They didn't need to speak to a human. So in voice, as of, sort of right now, it's improved a little bit more over the past few weeks. Close to 20% of our phone calls are fully handled by our automation systems and don't need to be handled by a customer service agent. And the light blue bar on the left is chat fully handled. That's close to 30% today. Uh, we had no chat automation now. And then within the past 10 months, we now um, take 30% of our chat users. They find what they want and we either they either fully handle within the bar or they, they get made aware of a, a solution on the website or in the mobile app that they can use. Um, so regardless of the size of your organization, a fully handling sort of 20 to 30 percent of your customer interactions frees up your human agents to deal with the customers with big problems or complex queries or who need some extra care and all the customers who want to transact or have a simple query can do it without having to wait to speak to somebody. So that's been really successful in terms of self-service. And our other key metric um, that we had on the slide was just around um, internal transfers. Customers going through natural language, um, about 10% less likely to be transferred to another agent. So they'll land with the right agent first time and get their query resolved. And, uh, and I think clearly the next question is why Genesis and Google? So what you find out, uh, I anticipate a bit the slide clearly, but uh, I would like you to touch the, the most important point for you as a customer clearly uh, around selecting Genesis and Google in, in this journey together. Yep, cool. So there's a bunch of reasons that are on the screen here. So we'll go through a few of those. So one of the main reasons for us was um, out of the box integration uh, with Genesis. So we, we already had Genesis installed and deployed uh, everywhere. So the, the actual technical integration was extremely easy because it was just supported and no, no, no extra code or anything required. And um, the front end tools provided by Google, um, very user friendly. So um, our admin team who maintain this, they're not programmers or developers, they're business users. And they use this every day to train the system, to get analytics, to pull reporting, and um, to build new uh, outcomes for our customers. Uh, so it's really easy for them to use. They went from knowing nothing about contact center AI to using the Google tool set day in, day out within a couple of weeks. So I'm very proud of them for that. And it's a very good um, design there. And um, the pricing model works really well for us. So um, we pay on a pay as you go basis, which means if we build something, it doesn't give us any value. <laughs> we can put it to one side and build something else. Um, and as we scale up and as we scaled up, sort of the the cost didn't really go up very much from our point of view. So starting out on 10,000 calls wasn't a huge cost difference to 100,000 calls. So a uh, really good value pricing model there. And we've also started to make use of other parts of the Google Cloud stack. So um, some of the data and analytics tools in there, some of the log syncs to stream some data to some of our analytics teams who are quite interested. So it's very easy to connect out to, to the different services as well as the Genesis services, as well as our own systems. So it's all great value for money. Like I said, the UK English support was fantastic and the user space tools are brilliant and the value is there. So it was, it was a no brainer for us and a very easy decision for our finance team to make when we presented it to them. They tick. It was really easy to go with. Yeah, and, and you touch just the, the finance right now. So you see, you, you show some statistic, which was great. Uh, uh, can, can you make some, uh, some more uh, uh, comments? Uh, I would say probably the cost benefits ratio, because that number is, seems to be pretty impressive. Yeah, so without going into very detailed specifics on our finances, um, with, within three weeks of implementing um, the Google Contact Center AI, uh, we were net positive in terms of the incremental cost of that versus the business benefit we were seeing that in the previous KPI, so fully handled, reduced transfers, better speech recognition. So within three weeks of implementation, uh, the solution was paying for itself, which meant we could continue as much as we wanted to. Um, and on the second half of the slide, you can say that. So we started out uh, for a one, a one to 1.2 cost benefit ratio. So that meant very, very early days for every euro or pound we spent, we got about one pound 20 in benefit. Within six months, we could do quadruple that ratio. <laughs> so for every pound we spend, we, we get nearly five pounds worth of benefit. So it means 
sort of very little increase in cost, but a huge increase in value uh, driven by uh, the implementation that we had. And this means um, we don't have to justify what, what we're doing here anymore. We can continue developing new solutions, continue optimizing it because the value is clearly there. Um, and that's that's really important to some of our stakeholders that we're spending our customers' money wisely and we can clearly demonstrate that we are. So first of all, I would like to thank you, Shauna, for, uh, for the great story that you pitched to us. Uh, I think it's it's amazing uh, not listening also only the journey that you went through, but also the result that you get. Uh, so I tried to summarize on my side uh, um, what I listen, and I, I want to summarize it with three takeaways. So the first one that I get it, uh, that, that impressed me a lot uh, when you say that 94% speech recognition success rate. Clearly, we, you were talking about uh, uh, English UK, but Contact Center AI has a much broader support in languages uh, uh, that, that you can benefit on. Um, the second one that I, uh, that I summarize, uh, uh, of course, you were already a, a Genesis customer, uh, but when you pitch how fast uh, and how easy was the integration or connecting Genesis to Google to deliver clearly the use cases that you were looking for, uh, uh, that, that impressed me a bit. So the fact that you said uh, uh, we implemented it, uh, we start pretty, uh, pretty, pretty fast, uh, we make it some test, and then we ramp up, uh, um, uh, we ramp up very, uh, very easily. And in almost less than a month, uh, we were, uh, we were already uh, ready. And and the last one, I take the liberty clearly to say one to five and not one to four dot seven, uh, but clearly the. The result, the amazing result that you get and the fact that you say, you know, we don't even need uh, anymore to justify the investment. So we know that the money are here and we are already getting benefits of it. That's to me is what makes this story, this, this story successful. So again, uh, thanks so much for, uh, for it. Um, before we move to the next step, uh, um, I, I will say, if you like that story and you would like to understand or to ask, okay, what we can do, how we can do it, uh, um, the answer is pretty easy. It's engage with us, engage with Genesis, engage with Google. Uh, so we have an approach that we call, uh, uh, you see, uh, we call it on-site workshop. Clearly in this COVID uh, period, it can be done remotely because we know that sometimes it's not easy. But our approach is uh, let's sit down together. Let's understand how you work. Uh, let's get the data that you, that you have. Uh, let's find out some use cases and really have it at the, uh, the outcome of the workshop should be what use cases you should implement and you should start with. So that's what we can do and that's how, uh, how we can engage clearly with, with everyone that will be interested on, on that. Um, so again, thanks so much from my side, really. Thank you, Sean, for the great story that you pitched. And I will say thank you, Google and Dominique, uh, for hosting us uh, to, to, to present uh, uh, this, this customer story and clearly how we can, uh, how we can deliver and how we can transform uh, traditional automation into AI-based automation. Thank you so much again. Bye.